All right, today we're gonna go over lower chest. Now, I had a tough time making this video at first because there's a ton of good videos out there, right? Full of exercises, stuff that I personally do, and I'm not gonna just regurgitate some crap you can find on somebody else's channel, so how can I help? Well, I assume that you probably watch those videos and you're still not getting the results you want. I, I, I'm gonna bet that you don't lack a library of exercises for decline stuff, for chest movements. The problem is you're probably not really connecting with the lower part of your chest, getting that contraction, getting that growth. So what we're gonna do is just work on today minor tweaks to exercise you already know to really connect with the muscle and get results. So if you're ready, let's get after it. I love cable work for chest. Not only because you can do any angle you want and put emphasis on whatever part of the chest you want, but it's really good for people that are either brand new or have overdeveloped shoulders who can't connect with the chest. You get them on here, you can make that connection, you get that mind-muscle connection, and then they can take that newfound knowledge to really any other movement they do, and now they know how to squeeze through the chest instead of driving through the shoulders, because even on this, right? So if you're doing standing flies, and if you're really shoulder dominant, you'll actually bring the anterior delt in, and you'll squeeze much more there than you will with your chest. So the way we're gonna fix that is we're gonna grab an incline bench, and I would say 60, 70 degrees, put it up nice and high, and what you're gonna do is squeeze through in a downward motion, just like you would be doing like a decline fly, but the second part of that, which is key, is you're gonna supinate those wrists, right? So as you come together, it's gonna to be like you're simulating a nice old school pec deck that squeezes those wrists together. And the reason it works so good with that lower chest is because you're really forcing those elbows in. So as you squeeze together, it's pushing those elbows in, finishing that contraction off at the very bottom of your chest. So one of the exercises I've seen people talk about is Olympic bar dips or Smith dips. Basically, instead of doing a normal dip on either a dip bar or a dip machine, you go over to a Smith machine or Olympic bar, hop on there, and your hands are nice and wide. And it's a, it's a really good exercise, but the problem is you have to be an Olympic gymnast to kind of pull it off because there's so much abs to it, you have to hold yourself up. And you're so focused on everything else, you don't really get to connect with the chest the entire time. You're sitting there trying to fumble. I mean, it looks cool as hell, but it's not the best. So the way we're gonna tweak this and do a variation of it on the ground is you either need to get dumbbells or handles like this, and dumbbells work perfectly fine, but you're gonna go down to a normal push-up position, but as you come up, keep your hips in place, drive those shoulders back, arch your back, and what that's gonna do is put more pressure on your lower chest because you're driving down again, that downward motion, but also it's gonna add even more resistance because you're almost fighting yourself on the way up. One thing I forgot to mention is as you're coming up, you're gonna flex your calves up, so it's gonna push you a little bit forward, helps you lean back a little more, but more importantly, keeps it out of your shoulders and keeps that downward angle, just put all that pressure on your lower part of your chest. We're finishing with good old decline machine flies where you lift your butt off, you lean back against it, but we're gonna tweak it in three different ways to make it that much better. So the first thing is, normally when you come back, your bottom here, your fixed position with your elbow, I want you to bend that elbow more at the bottom, stretch your chest even more. Now as you're coming up, the second part is, you're gonna squeeze the top like normal, right? So you come all the way together, but you're gonna stop it and then push out a little bit more at the top, really enhance that contraction and to wrap it all together, I want you to two count hold the bottom and the top. So if you're here, very bottom, one, one, the very top, one, two, right? <laughs> If you're still not connecting with it, take your phone out, throw it to the side, grab a video, because two things could be going wrong. Either your shoulders are too high in the movement and you're actually coming back and flexing those traps against the pad and that's all you feel is your traps or your neck, or your elbows aren't at the right position. Either they're too low and you're kind of feeling your lats as you're coming around, or they're too high and you're just feeling all that front delt, that anterior delt, and you're squeezing through there. So take a video, take a look at it, and kind of adjust your form, and I guarantee you tweak those two things, you'll find the contraction. All right, like always, I hope you got a ton out of that. I know if you take the time, use some of those tweaks and variations and just focus on really squeezing that lower chest and making that connection, you're gonna get a ton of growth out of it. So if you haven't already, like, subscribe, hit the bell, get after it, I'll talk to you soon, get growing.